everybody and welcome back to my channel. In today's video I'm going to be using masking fluid and we're going to paint some water. So let's get straight into it. So the very first painting idea that I'm going to show you is of the surface of water and this is going to be quite loose. I want it to look slightly abstract and I'm using my masking fluid. So I have got this Solo Goya masking fluid pen and I've used this quite a lot and it does actually last really, really well. It's coming towards the end of the pen now, however, it has lasted really well. So I will link all of the products that I'm using in today's video in my description box if you're interested in those ones. So I have added a watercolour wash along the entire piece of my watercolour paper and now I'm gradually building up different tones of blue across the page and the masking fluid will leave a really nice bright highlight wherever I have added that to my page so I'll get a nice contrast between the dark shades and then the really bright highlights of the paper coming through to show where the light might hit on top of the water surface. So I'm just using my watercolours, I'm using all of the different blues that I have got available in, in this Paul Rubens set of watercolour paints. I've used this set a few times now and I really do recommend it, it's a really good watercolour set for beginners and the watercolours go down really nicely and they're really nice and creamy so I would definitely recommend this set. So I'm just layering up my watercolours, I'm allowing most of my watercolours to dry fully before adding in further layers of watercolour because I don't want too much of that bleeding technique within the piece. And then once I'm 100% happy with all of the different tones I've added in, I then remove my masking fluid. And um, you can easily just peel this off with your finger or you can use a piece of paper towel on that one. And I'm quite pleased with the abstract shapes within this water surface painting. So make sure you give this one a try. Let me know in the comments what you think I should paint in the future. Okay, on to the next one, and I'm starting by adding a light watercolour wash again across the entire page of my paper, and I'm just using a very light blue for this. Once I've covered the entire piece of paper with my watercolour, I'm going to allow that to dry, and then I'm using the same watercolour masking fluid pen, and I'm adding in a really random pattern. I'm going in freehand with my pen and I'm just adding these little dots to try and give the effect of bubbles being blown in the water. So showing that within the water and them rising to the surface. That's what I'm going for anyway. I think this piece will look again quite abstract but I think the whole process of using the masking fluid is really really rewarding. Once I've allowed my masking fluid to dry fully then I'm going to be adding my paint over the top and I'm gradually going to build from darker along to the bottom to a lighter section on the top and then I also want to get some light streams that are coming through that water as well. So I'm just working on a gradient blend at the bottom of the painting. If you've watched my channel recently, you'll know I've been working on a few different haul videos. Let me know in the comments where you would like to see products from next so that I can plan that for upcoming videos. I really want to know where you guys would like to see some products from or what particular products you would like to see in a video. So I'm just gradually adding darker and darker layers of my blues here to make it really look like there's a depth of water and then the bubbles rising. And I'm just allowing again my paint to dry before adding these layers in. I do also mix some black in with my paint for this section here just to darken those areas as much as possible. Thank you. 
And then just as the first video, I use a piece of paper towel to remove all of my masking fluid to show the areas that I've left as highlights. And I do just tidy up my desk with my handy little vacuum. And then I can go in and add any additional details because there was quite a lot of white surface paper on here. So I just went in with my fine paintbrush and added a few more details to show some bubbles. And then I used a fine liner to define those even further. And that is the finished result for that painting. I would really like to try some people under the water. I think that would be really cool to experiment with. Those are my two watercolour ideas using the masking fluid. I had so much fun making these. Let me know in the comments what you thought of them. Give it a thumbs up if you have enjoyed it. It'd be brilliant to have you join me on my channel, so make sure you subscribe. Go and follow me on Instagram as well. I would absolutely love to see some of your artwork, so tag me in any of your posts. I'd absolutely love to see your work. I will see you in the next one. Thank you so much for watching. Bye, guys.